The Genius of a Messy Lab, Alexander Fleming and Penicillin. Imagine the wonderfully chaotic London laboratory of Alexander Fleming in 1928. A brilliant bacteriologist, Fleming was not known for his tidiness, and it was his very messiness that led to a monumental discovery. Returning from a summer vacation, Fleming noticed something odd on a forgotten petri dish of Staphylococcus bacteria. A patch of mold had grown on it by mistake, but around the mold was a clear, empty circle. The bacteria had been killed. Where others saw a ruined experiment, Fleming saw a clue. He realized the mold, Penicillium notatum, was producing a substance that could kill bacteria. He called this substance penicillin. Fleming published his findings, but the medical community largely ignored his discovery. It was unstable and difficult to purify. For a decade, penicillin was a scientific curiosity, its incredible potential forgotten. It wasn't until World War II, when the need for a cure for battlefield infections was desperate, that other scientists took up his work. They successfully purified and mass-produced the drug, turning it into the world's first true antibiotic. Fleming's accidental discovery, born from a cluttered lab and a curious mind, became a life-saving miracle. He was the keen observer whose simple, almost discarded insight would go on to save millions of lives and usher in the age of modern medicine.